<laughs> Let me just tell you what your problem yes, is. Yes, like, yes, here yes. You Actually, I'm an engineer. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> which, which, which host to fix? <laughs> okay. So your first question, just why do all of us get stuck? There are two main reasons why we all get stuck. I'll get to I'll get to your problem. Yes, right yes, yes. Put, me, put reasons... me later. I'm a lower priority. Fine, <laughs> fine, Brett. Go for it. <laughs> Um, we get stuck for usually one of two reasons. One, a lack of information. Mm. If I don't know that I have a broken hose, I'm going to keep driving around and I'm not going to know why my car keeps breaking down or why it's not going. That is not a lack of willingness. That's not like, it's just, I don't have the right information for the problem at hand. So it's very pragmatic. Sometimes it really is a simple matter of, oh my God, Brent, my car doesn't work. What's wrong with me? Nothing. Go to the gas station and fill up the tank. You're on empty. Mm. And it's as simple as that. Mm. So lack of information is often why we get stuck. And with mental health, most mental health, it's changing now, but many mental health providers are not trained in the body, the brain, or how our brain and bodies work together. So there's a lot of misinformation. So lack of information will keep us stuck almost every time. So that's the first one. The second reason we get stuck is because there's a painful truth somewhere, either from our past or a painful truth about ourselves that we don't want to deal with. But unaddressed pain will always create a sense of stuck, always. Mm. It's not always the case that we have these pain points. And I'm not talking about memories that you've repressed or anything like that. But if you, so going back to you, if you have this sense of over-responsibility, I don't need to know where in your story, for whatever reason, you either felt guilty or like something bad would happen if you didn't function in this way. And then we would work on how accurate is that information and where's the pain that created that story and then we would work both again prescriptively like here are some things you can do about that and all right now we got to sort of drill down and like at the dentist you know like sometimes you have to drill down and get the infected stuff out before you can seal it and fill it and be on your way I would much prefer to just fill up my gas tank and go but sometimes we get stuck because we're not dealing with some truth about ourselves or our lives mm. and we, we spend an inordinate amount of time and resources avoiding the things that we know. And that's not because we're bad or because we're terrible people. It's just it's hard to know what we know. And it's painful to come to grips with the entire reality of the humaning that we have to do on this planet. So know what you know, which is a lot harder than it sounds, and make sure you're getting accurate information are really the two main keys to why we get stuck and how to get unstuck.